Welcome to week 12 of 52 of the Stock Roulette series, where I invest around 50 bucks a week randomly into the stock market. I load this week's top 10 picks into pickrandom.com and just give it a spin. And then we talk about why I picked that stock. The goal here is to beat the average return of 10 to 12% by the end of the year. And this week has been awful in the markets and there's a ton of good buying opportunities. All right, let's roll. Okay, here we go. I got no wheel sound for some reason. XONE, good pick. This week's pick is X1, ticker XONE. Since 19 freaking 95, they have been striving to create 3D printers and have successfully done so by making 3D printing machines and 3D print product services to industrial customers in multiple segments, including pumps, automotive, aerospace, heavy equipment, and energy. Their 3D printer system quickly transforms 3D powder materials, including metals, ceramics, composites, and sand into precision parts. It molds and cores for multicasting, an innovative tool solutions. Industrial customers use their technology to save time and money, reduce the waste, and improve the manufacturing flexibility, and deliver designs and products to once what was thought to be impossible. Let's hit on some key highlights, starting with the obvious. COVID has made it tough for many factories and hurt the production chains in most industries all across the globe. More companies are searching for a more safe and efficient way to create their products. 3D printing and automation space has been growing at a rapid rate, and thanks to this technology advancements we've had over the course of the years has become cheaper and much easier to do. Some things can be made faster and don't need to be outsourced anymore. Next, binder jetting is viewed as the leading method for high volume 3D printer production with low costs and X1 is the number one market leader in binder jetting with production 3D printers. X1 has over 230 issued and pending patents already and created a breakthrough metal printing technology for best in class quality. And the market cap for 3D printing is currently around $12 billion with expectations to triple in just three years. Years. And ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood projected that it is time to shine for 3D printers based on technology advancements over the time. From prototypes in the early 80s to mold tools in the 90s to now finally end user parts just starting in the early 2000s. We are just getting the hang of this concept according to Ampower reports. Binder jetting is poised to enter a new material level of growth. It is moving from first applications to industry use and on a growth path towards widespread industrial use soon. Now it's on my list this week because Oppenheimer downgraded it on concerns in evaluation and competition. And markets have also oversold the technology and growth companies in space as well. So the stock is currently trading around $33 a share, down from its all-time high of $66 a share, almost 50% off from over a month ago. I felt as though it's a bargain at this price level, especially since they are the biggest in this industry and have addressed a large segment of 3D printer market space. So let's talk products. They make a complete 3D printer system that you can have for under $200,000 and deliver simplicity, speed, in material flexibility and sustainability in bound metal office printing. The bond metal market is projected to grow at a 30 to 35 percent rate to over 3 billion in 2029. X1 has been featured in many magazines and news articles lately as the 3 and 4D printing space has been growing exponentially. And they do have competition, but they claim that they are much ahead and more diverse in this space. Though their revenue hasn't exploded year over year, they are growing and they're working on expanding their material base as well as advancing their machines at the end of this year, which will enable more opportunity not only in selling the machines, but also in the material costs that goes with them as well. I'm personally really bullish on this industry and as well as on this company. The analysts rate this mostly a strong buy and a buy with some withhold and none with a sell rating. All right, let's go make a quick purchase. Okay, we're going to do this on an iPhone today because we're on the go on the fly here. So it's currently trading around 33 bucks a share and we're just going to do a market buy. We're going to do two shares. So we're a little bit over the $50 price be a total of $66.22 and confirm and there we go order's done okay guys please remember I'm not a financial advisor please make sure you do your own research before you buy any stocks and if you want to get into buying and selling your own I have links below for Robinhood and Webull in the description I recommend Webull because you can trade pre-market as early as 4 a.m. instead of waiting for the 9 30 a.m. on Robinhood also if you open a Webull account and throw a hundred bucks in there we will both get two free stocks Lastly, I'm gonna start rocking my dress shirts in all my videos because this is my main business. I make custom high-end designer men's dress shirts right here in the United States. I'm gonna link it below in the description for you guys to check out. I hope you guys found some value in this video. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'm working on many videos to come.